Why does the water jump? Sun strange? Well, it isn't. This video we're gonna see about the phenomenon of hydraulic jump. A hydraulic jump is also known as the standing wave. This occurs when a supercritical flow meets a subcritical flow. As you can see in the picture right here, the water is flowing at a certain depth and it suddenly increases its depth and continues to flow. Now, the left portion of this picture is going to give you the supercritical flow and the right portion is the subcritical flow. The supercritical and the subcritical flows occur in one of the most common types of flows called as open channel flow. What is an open channel flow? Never heard of it? I'm pretty sure you've seen it. An open channel flow is a type of flow where the water surface is directly under the atmospheric pressure. The water flows due to the influence of gravity. The most common examples of this open channel flow are rivers, streams and also the man-made canals. All these open channel flows possess some certain amount of energy also called as specific energy. So guys may be wondering, what is specific energy? Let's get further into it. Specific energy is nothing but the total energy of the flow per unit weight of the liquid and in this case the liquid is water. The specific energy is actually made up of three components which are the velocity head, the depth of flow and the datum head respectively. When we plot a graph between the depth of flow and the specific energy, this is what we get. The curve on the right hand side represents the variation of the specific energy with respect to the depth of flow. The dotted line represents the critical depth. The critical depth is the depth of flow where the specific energy is minimum. If the depth of flow is greater than the critical depth of flow, then it is termed as a subcritical flow. And if the depth of flow is less than the critical depth of flow, then it is called a supercritical flow. For a given value of specific energy, we find that there are two depths, y1 and y2 on the supercritical side and the subcritical side respectively. For the same energy, the supercritical velocity is always greater than the subcritical velocity. Now, this is what the cross section of a hydraulic jump looks like. The depth on the left is y1 which is the supercritical depth and the depth on the right hand side is y2 which is the subcritical depth. The y1 and y2 are also called as sequent depths since they represent the same energy. Since the supercritical velocity is always greater than the subcritical velocity. To compensate for this energy, the depth y1 has to turn into depth y2, meaning the supercritical depth y1 turns into a subcritical depth y2 for the same energy. The water literally jumps. Now, this hydraulic jump depends upon a parameter known as the flow number. As the value of the flow number increases, the jump becomes more and more pronounced. The hydraulic jump that you find in your sink has a lesser flow number. Whereas a hydraulic jump that you're more likely to find in a stream like a river has a higher fraud number. Thanks for watching.